here we are, episode two of Champs vs. Pros. Can I get a... Nobody? Cool. So let's get right into it. I always say that. Let's get right into it, shall we? It's so fucking stupid, but I can't stop saying it. Anyways. Let's get right into it, shall we? <laughs> so apparently Punk and Sean, Sean Merriman, had previous beef a few years ago on Twitter. Somebody said something about somebody else's Speedo. Who cares? It's football time! I think I have a football. Hold that thought. Will this one work? <laughs> it blinks, guys. My dog heard it. He's like, I, I want that. Let's use this one. Now my dog thinks it's playtime. I'll throw it to you once, get it. All right, no more, no more. Go on. Mean mom, so mean. Now it's full of slobber, thanks. It's football time. They all gotta play some football, you know what I'm saying? Nobody invited me. I'm great at football. You should see my throw. You should see my throw. I'm not even kidding. You should see my throw. They start to pick teams and I love CT getting dissed like, walking up all confident and shit and Sean Merriman's like, Hey, 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 you're last. Oh, CT got dissed, bruh. Being able to play flag football with Sean Merriman and Cameron Wimbley, both NFL legends, it's like every boy's wet dream. They're all playing, they're having a great time. I want to play! Pick me! Pick Ace! I'm so good at balls! That came out way wrong. <laughs> Everybody's having a great time until Lolo goes loco! I can't physically block somebody. Like, if they're going for me, I have to be, like, gentle, right? Relax! It's my personality. I don't tell you what to do with your personality. Just let me play, like, we're here for charity. We are, but I'm playing. You just don't like the way I play. No, but you can be a good sport about it. Oh my gosh, no, fuck it. No, fuck it, I'm not playing this shit. She's not my fucking mom. I'm tired of her telling me what to fucking say and talk like. <laughs> that girl cracks me up, also terrifies me. Bananas ask the best questions in the world to Loco right now. If you could go against one girl in your squad, who would it be? What do you like more, carrots or celery? I like that I'm about to fucking leave this show if you guys keep fucking with me. <sighs> this girl here. He's trying to talk her off the ledge, be your friend, whatever, moving on. Ooh, but I gotta tell you guys something. So right after this happens, there's a transition, an MTV transition, and um, they play a song, right? They always play songs in the show. Well, right before the show started, I had just posted an Instagram about a new band that I fell in love with completely. And that takes a lot for me to like the singer, the band, the music, the lyrics, the everything, the sing this, like all of it, the whole package. And I just posted about it with the lyrics from the specific song that then played on the challenge and I was like, me and the universe, we are one. I just wanted to quickly tell you guys about that and if you don't know about them, their name is Paris, but it's spelled P-V-R-I-S because, I don't know, Paris is copyrighted or something, so they flipped that A on its fucking head and they made this amazing song that I just love and then they played it on my favorite show. <laughs> That's how excited I was. <laughs> I'm out of breath, but I felt like I just needed to share that part of my uh, personal life with you guys and tell you a little bit about my relationship with the universe. So, that was awesome. Let me, water. Back to the game. Challenge time. Host guy shows up and he tells them that this challenge is gonna be based on the skill ingenuity. And Camilla's like, uh, can somebody translate? <laughs> <laughs> Miller. Tailgate barbecue. Everybody gets wrapped up like a little hot dog up in some saran wrap and they have to roll, roll, and roll, and roll, and what? All the way down this obstacle course where they come across a grill, condiments, all sorts of shit until they land in their bun. It's really all about um, athleticism at this point. It's a male elimination this week, so it's gonna be a, a guy team captain from each side of the team. And for the pros, it's gonna be punk, cause why? I'd love to raise the money for the dogs. Plus, Hot dogs. His jokes are just as funny as mine. Not so much. So it's him for the pros, and then it's Jordan for the champs, 
and he is working for his charity, The Lucky Finn Project. So here we go. Everybody getting wrapped up in saran wrap is fucking hilarious and I love it and I would die. I'd be like, oh my god, I can't move. Because I don't like like being confined like that. I'd try to roll through that shit as quickly as possible. Four girls to go first are Loco, Camilla, Ashley K, and Lindsay. They all start rolling and flopping. Flopping around the course, fish out of water. That's how I look when I roll over in the middle of the night in my bed when I'm just, when I'm asleep. You ever fall asleep on your stomach and then like this, like on your stomach, and then your arms fall asleep and then you want to flip over and it's like, oh, you have to. F I know it's happened to somebody else but me. <laughs> Okay! Loco rolled right over Ashley K as if she was a motherfucking speed bump. Lindsay's in first place holding the chips in her mouth. I forgot to tell you guys about the chips. This is the extra part of the challenge that's been done before that's supposed to make it harder than the actual challenge that was done before. A couple of the team members have to hold chips in their mouth. Not actual chips and not, not poker chips, just a thing that says chips. And not let go of it or they get a two minute penalty for their team. They roll through ketchup, mustard, Relish. Ew. Everybody makes it to their buns except Camilla. And then Lindsay's trying to block Camilla from getting in and Camilla's like, This is not fair! Uh, but I guess it is. Guys turn, going first is gonna be CT, Punk, Wes, Cam, and Bananas. Bananas is in the lead and then Cam. Bananas gets stuck in the fucking mustard. And I'm like, Get out of the fucking mustard! Punk is stuck in the grill. His hot dog is gonna burn. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. What was I saying? <laughs> fucking stupid sometimes. Just like, turn it off! Cameron winds up getting to the bun first, and then Bananas, then CT, then Wes, then Punk, who's last, and he's the captain. Not good. I've always disliked mustard. I've never liked mustard on anything. Today was mustard's payback. At least you didn't have to roll through mayonnaise. I guess it doesn't go on a hot dog, but... <laughs> the best part of the second episode was right after uh, they got out of this, this challenge, uh, Punk and Bananas got into it a little bit. And it was quite entertaining, especially with ketchup and mustard rubbed all over their face. I would do that to myself, but no, I wouldn't. Not for this. You guys don't get all those extras. <laughs> I fought, I lost, I lived to fight another day. You're the first guy in history to go and lose and you're happy about it? I wouldn't brag about that. What do you do for a living? I'll tell you what I don't do. I don't go to the UFC and get my ass whooped. That's what I don't do. I was either gonna win gloriously or die a glorious death. And that's something somebody like you's never gonna understand because they wouldn't let you win because nobody would pay a dime to see your ass. That's why. I get it, that's your persona and it's gotten you nowhere in life. So just fucking keep it up, dude. You couldn't make it in wrestling. You got your ass handed to you in the MMA, and now you're trying to make it at this. You're a fucking fan, motherfucker! This guy is obviously trying to live up to the name that he's given himself, CM Punk. Guy needs to change it to CM Bitch, because that's all he does. Ah! Next girls round, who we got, who we got? We got Tia, Cara Maria. Tia and Cara Maria. Tia and Cara Maria. Ay, 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 ay. Luis and Smashly. Tia is in a major lead and she's already made it to the condiments before the other girls even turn the corner. And she rolled right on into first place, is what she did. Luis is in second place, Cara Maria is in third, and Smash is trying to make it through the condiments. Ashley, do not pretend like this is the first time that you've been covered in relish. Oh, bananas. She finally makes it in last place. Next, guys, round, what's up? We got Darrell, Jordan, Gus, Louis, and Sean. All the guys go, they all try to make the turn at the same time, they get in a major pile up. Look like a bunch of silver fish, just trying to make their way. Sean and Darrell are neck and neck until they get to the condiments, and Sean Merriman gets stuck in the ketchup. Jordan bypasses all of them, gets first place. Darrell slides past Sean in those uh, condiments, and he gets second place. So it's looking pretty good for the champs at this moment. Then Louie, and then Sean dropped the chips. So they get a two minute penalty for that shit. Now Sean's just laying in the mustard, looking like this. When you're really trying hard to catch up. Anyway, he finally makes it in last place. And he has something funny to say about it. Catch up one. Lights out, zero. LMFAO, that's it for this challenge, and it's a win for our champs. What's up with that? Yes, let's go. We are great at being hot dogs. Awesome. Back at the loft, some of the pros finally understand what it's like to be in this game, and that you never, ever know exactly what you're in for. Host dude I can't remember the name of to save my life shows up. It's nomination time, and they don't get an hour to choose shit. They're doing it right now. Punk is going in for show, because his ass lost. 
and so did his team. Now it's up to the rest of the team to decide who the hell is gonna go up against him. Loco almost takes some uh, advice from Smash in throwing in Gus, who went after her before, but she doesn't. So she goes with Sean, and everybody else pretty much does, so when it gets to him, he's like, well, I'm gonna go in then. And he votes himself in. They're gonna squash that Speedo beef tonight. That sounds really bad. Really bad. Since Jordan is safe, he chooses the first guy from the chance that he would like to see in elimination, and that is going to be Wes. Wes's track record is not that great in this game. He can say all he wants, and that's prime propaganda. I can smell what you're stepping in, Wes. And it don't smell good. Host guy tries to start going down the line with Camilla on who she wants to go in against Wes, and she takes too long to answer, and Wes is like, Does anybody want to ask me who I want? And guess what he says? I want bananas. <laughs> the only move to make is to go as big as possible, as early as possible. So the whole game can be flipped on its head. Right, right, oh, but they're still gonna pick. They're still gonna go down the line and pick, so let's see who everybody chose. Camilla votes for Darrell, Smash votes for Bananas, and Ashley K votes for CT. Carl Maria votes for Bananas. 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 When it gets to CT, he's like, I'm gonna go with the man, the myth, the legend. And he picks bananas. And then when it gets to Darrell, Darrell picks bananas. So, bananas it is. Wes versus bananas in the elimination. So yeah, I'm gonna be going up against Wes, the gingerbread man, the human spring roll. I can't say I'm surprised because nothing on the challenge ever surprises me. It's been a long time coming. If I could choose my ideal elimination, it would be something physical. It would be something that involves pads, and helmets, and Wes stuck to the bottom of my shoe. Back in the loft, everybody's talking about how they really didn't have any idea that uh, Wes and Bananas hadn't gone into an elimination against each other before, but the real conversation that has me dying is the combina co combination. The conversation between CT, Smash, and Camilla. Camilla and Smash ha are having a really hard time saying the word ingenuity. Um, <laughs> but they came up with a lot of other fun words. Well, ingenuity. What is that called? Ingenuity. Ingenuality. Ingenuitive. Ingenuity. Ingenuability. Ingenuitive. Ingenuity. Yeah, ingenuitive. Can't wait for that intelligence challenge. <laughs> now it's time for the arena, blindsided. Break your stick over your opponent's body while blindfolded. Each one of them gets to choose a member from either side, which is kind of cool, right? Uh, to guide them, to be their eyes when they can't see. There's a lyric, song lyric somewhere in there that I can't think of right now, but it exists and I would sing it. Anyway, moving on. Punk chooses Luis to be his eyes. Cause, well, she's smarter than everyone else, obviously. Sean chooses Darrell, cause Darrell's the man. Bananas also chooses Darrell, cause Darrell's the man. That's a lot of fucking pressure on Darrell. I'd be like, God damn it, stop picking my fucking name, you guys. I'm not in this shit. Why do I have to play? Wes chooses CT. Punk and Sean goes first. Everybody gets ready. Everybody's ready to go. Punk comes in rolling on the fucking ground, doing some kind of crazy moves and shit, and Sean just slices him and takes a point for himself. He's like, bitch, what you doing? What? Isn't this dude like a fighter in real life? <laughs> then in the next round, Sean loses it to Punk, who gets him. And on the next one, Punk gets a little inside tip from Luis that Sean happens to be left-handed. So he would do better coming in at a different angle. And it fucking worked. He was like, whoosh. And he got him in his left-handed ass. And well, Sean's going home. Punk is staying. See you, Sean. It was nice seeing you on the challenge. My name is Ace. Go Saints. Always go Saints. Now for the fight of the night. For those of you who are like, what the fuck is that? This is something that I caught. Oh look, it's glowing right now. This is something that I caught at a parade in New Orleans at Mardi Gras. And it looks really cool at nighttime. And uh, look, ho oh, ho, it's fight night. I should have done this the entire time. And now for the fight of the night. <laughs> Wes versus Bananas. First round, Banana comes in strong. He comes in strong, he takes a whack. Right over Wes, stick breaks, point for Bananas. On the next round, Wes creeps up. He comes in low on bananas and whoosh, gets him. Point for Wes. Oh shit. And now I'm just like, what's gonna happen? I'm so nervous, all right? I'm so nervous that Bananas is nervous because he knows that he's gonna hate his life and himself if he doesn't beat Wes. 
And so I am just freaking out, man. And then fuck, man. Banana takes a swing too soon and Wes comes right beneath him and whoa. It was like the hit of the century. It was a good fucking hit. He dove for his ass. He was just like, whoosh. I can't do it, but you, you saw it. You saw what happened. Look at this photo. That's what happened. That's what happened. Let me turn the lights back on. Cause we're done with our this is what party at the club time is going to be all about. I have two of these. Why didn't I ever think about turning off the light before? Oh, because it was probably daylight, not nighttime when I was doing this. Hello! Whoa. I almost killed myself. You guys would have been very sad. Very sad! So bananas is gone pecan, because I don't want to say gone bananas. I'm so sad! But really, at the end of it, kind of acted like a big pussy, because you were so upset with yourself, and you were at a loss for words. When does that ever happen, ever? You looked like you were about to cry, you were completely speechless, and I don't know whether I want to give you a hug or punch you in the face. He's so mad that he let me, he's got to be fucking pissed. But you know what? Pick your panties up off the floor and let's get on with it. All right? Good job to Wes. He's going to live off that win for a long time. A long time. But the rivalry will live on. It will. I think it'll come full circle. We'll see. Now Wes is going to be going after Jordan's ass. That's for sure. So that's it for the second episode of Champs vs. Pros. I love your guys' faces. I will see you guys when I see you for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm super stoked you guys really wanted me to do these. I'm excited to do them for you. And until the next one, you know the drill. Follow me on Twitter so you can tweet me and tell me that you hate me or you love me because I love both. I love both. Share this with your friends, with your family, with your coworkers, with your mother, with your grandmother, with everybody. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because why would you not? Hello? Don't forget to leave a comment below because I love your face and I want to I talk back to you down there. And that's it. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. And until then, you know the drill. Peace out! Bananas went home. <laughs> What's up, Goobers? It's Cody from Stranded. I just won $124,000 and I'm better at life than you. You're watching Aces, Pros vs. Joes. I mean, Pros vs. Champs. I still don't know why they call it that. But you're watching her after show. Welcome.